So now let's work around with organic IK rigging with skinning basics inside of Cinema 4D. In order to do that, first of all, I need to make uh, I need to bring in an object which I'm going to use as a binding object. So let me choose something like an oil tank right here and I'm going to increase its level of detail. So I'm going to press NB and there you go, that's the detail. So I'm just going to increase the height segment on from the side right here. So that's the level of detail I want. So let me just increase this in size just like this. Uh, but before that, I'm, I need to convert this into an editable object by pressing C. So this is going to be my object which is where uh, I'm going to do an IK rig. So I'm going to go to the side just like this. I'm going to go to the side and over here I'm going to bring in my bones now. So to bring in the bones I'm going to go to character and here's the join tool right over here. So join tool are the bones. So I'm holding control on my keyboard and pressing it on the bottom section just like this and then I'm going to add in the content just like this. So this is my first bone. This is where I want my movement to be. And I'm going to decrease the detail right over here. You can add in any way, any way you want. So let's say I just want to work around in this way. So over here, you can see the join. I'm just going to bring this outside so that it's easier to work with right over here. So first of all, before we bind everything out, we need to actually make these joints into an IK rig. So I'm going to go to my first joint. I'm going to right click over here. And then I'm going to go to uh, the rigging tags right over here, just like this. I'm going to go to rigging tag and I'm going to click on IK. Once I do that, the IK rig is here for that one. So now what I need to do in this setting is that I need to choose the end, which is the final join seven. Just click and drag it to the end right over here. And then I'm going to select this and then add in a goal as well. So don't add in a goal, but click on add goal right here so that a new controller is actually moved up. So now what I can do is you can see that this is how it can actually work out. So you can go over here and it can actually work out just like this. So now what we can do is we can bind these items. So let's go and check from the side as well. It has to be right around the center of the model itself. So what I need to do is I need to select all of it. So I'm shift selecting all of this right now before I bind it. So all of them are selected now. So all of them has, has to be selected for this to work. So all of them click on root, hold shift and till the oil tank. I am um, selected shift. And then what I can do is now I can go to character and over here there's spine. So just simply click on that and bind has been done. So let's see if, if I were to move this, what happens? So you can see that the, uh, that it is bending now. So you can see that now the bones are actually working out and the binding is actually working just like this, as you can see. So you can bind it, you can move around, you can bind it, you move it down. You can see that this is how it is working out. And there you go. So you can see that binding is actually working out just like this. So you can, the, you can do an organic movement accordingly now. And there you go. So you can move it onto the side and there you go. Everything happens just like this, as you can see. So that is how you can use organic IK rigging with a basic skin method inside of Cinema 4D. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.